how to actually apply dot files now this is going to be a pretty quick video because one it depends on the kind of dot files that you're working with and two there's not too much to learn or really wrap your head around so first thing that i'm going to do is find a config and find dot files that i want to apply to my own system so let's go over to good old r slash unix pawn and then figure out which setup it is that we want to apply is scrolling down over here let's see how long it takes to find hyperland yep first one okay this one and because there is a gravbox theme over here and i have a gravbox theme already set up with my custom theme switcher so i'm just going to switch to that just to make things easier okay and i'm going to find where the dot files are if they're here okay they are here so let's just middle click this in order to go to the link and by the way if you want to know how to make theme switches like that and you just basically save a lot of time not having to figure every step of the way yourself just click the first link in the description in hyper accelerator which is the program that's there i show you pretty much everything there is to know about making custom theme switches like this one and making really cool awesome setups that are dynamic and really change themselves based on whatever mood you're currently in so as you can see over here depending on the theme that i pick my terminal waybar and basically everything else even this theme over here constantly is adapting so yeah if you want to know how to make something like this just check the first link in the description out trust me it's going to be the best investment you'll have ever made so i'd say don't second guess it just click the first link in the description right now check out the program and you can come back to this video later but trust me man it's going to be good okay now this is what we are working with so we have this rice over here let's say that i wanted to take this waybar config for example how do we actually do that well first thing he has actually given installation instructions for this let's go over it and let me tell you whether this is actually what you're supposed to follow because sometimes what happens is yes some repos do give you installation instructions if you're lucky enough they also give you an install script but one it depends on how good the install script is you're going to have to review that yourself and two it might not actually be according to your needs like let's say for example if the script is not designed properly it might just overwrite all of your files without asking for a confirmation nine times out of ten it's not going to be the case but you never know so you always have to be careful whenever it comes to install scripts and just blindly following installation instructions okay so here it says step one clone this repo install necessary packages okay and move the file so we don't have any sort of install script over here we're just going to be manually moving the files okay great now and then it describes how to install all of the other themes awesome okay let's then let's figure out how to get waybar because this seems to be the prettiest part of the setup in my personal opinion so let's figure that out let's go over to the main repo over here hmm. okay here we are and waybar has a separate config so what we have to do here is click on code click on this copy url to clipboard okay and what we can actually do is go over yeah just go over to slash tmp which is the temp directory so whatever you have in this directory is going to be flushed out on your next reboot so let's say i create a file here for example i call it something like touch grass touch grass okay here we have the file grass there's nothing inside of it and if i actually reboot the machine this file grass is no longer going to be here it's going to get cleared out on every reboot okay basically that and this is the case for arch based distros not sure about other distros but yes temp is going to be cleared on every reboot there is of course a lot of customization you can do with it you can set it to not clear temp on reboot but that's a story for another day perhaps okay so what we're doing here is we're cloning this guy's github repo so git clone and then we're pasting this url in hit enter and by the way if you did not want to get the entire commit history and get all the other stuff that this guy has committed previously you're just going to have to run this same command with a dash dash depth flag so you run it with dash dash depth equals one and you will just be getting the surface level stuff that you have over here all of this config and none of the 
history or any of the other weird stuff that git gives you that is still useful okay so let's go over to minimalist graphbox okay now here let's go into way bar let's see the kind of config that he has pretty simple you know nothing much to really check out okay now how do we port this over to our own machine thankfully this way bar config doesn't seem to have too much right we have these workspace indicators we don't have any icons over there and over here too we just have the cpu and the ram so it, it's actually missing quite a bit but we can use the dots to illustrate a point nonetheless so let's do that okay so what are we doing over here let's first back up our original waybar config so cp or mv that's so going to basically move dot config slash waybar which is my current waybar directory so we're going to be moving that to config waybar dot back okay and by the way this dot back is an actual extension that is recognized by most file viewers out there so if you're using something like nemo right nemo or nautilus nautilus Thunar, right? really all the popular file managers dolphin too they're going to recognize that this is a backup file so yeah just throwing that out there anyway so in case you were wondering this move syntax what it's actually about is think about it this way so instead of actually renaming something so we don't actually have a command called rename okay we actually do somewhat but the way you actually rename stuff is with the mv command right so you're basically moving this directory into this directory that doesn't exist that's how we handle renaming files in linux we just move a directory to the same parent directory but just with a different name okay now what are we going to do here let's go over to or we can just copy and paste this right so cd that's cp dash r so cp is basically copy dash r means recursive if you did not pass the dash r flag and you try to copy a folder it's just going to fail right as you've probably experimented before let's try and copy this to home slash dot config and as you can see cp dash r recursive not specified so it's omitting the directory waybar so we want to recursively copy all files that are inside of this waybar folder into dot config so that we get the waybar directory over here Okay, let's do that and let's cd into dot config waybar and here we have the two files now if i reload i have set up waybar to reload with alt r by the way and that's really not working right now because of course i've moved the files around but no problem let's kill all dash nine waybar now and basically what kill all is going to do is kill every single process dash nine really makes sure that every single process and sub process is gone so we do that for waybar hit enter and it's dead waybar is pretty much dead just to confirm if you type this again it's going to give you a no process found error and exit with an exit code of one by the way that exit code is symbolized by this red arrow here so if i run a command that actually succeeds something like niche the command that you saw earlier this fetch it's beautiful beautiful fetch right niche runs properly runs with an exit code of zero okay and that gives you this success this green thing if i run the command asdf it fails of course and it gives you an exit code of one so in zsh or in pretty much any shell really an exit code of zero would be okay okay and then any other exit code would be that something is wrong so zero is your okay and one or anything else says that something's up you better check it out great now what we have to do is just run waybar and there we go that's pretty much it now we actually got lucky with this one because there aren't that many customizations made to it but that is pretty much it let's say we had to adapt another part of the config right what else do we have over here that we can adapt okay it's using kitty let's say i wanted to use this guy's kitty config well simple let's go into let's say kitty.conf right we just take that copy it over cp kitty.conf into home slash dot config kitty again first you got to make sure that we have already backed up the original file so config kitty kitty.conf and by the way if you're wondering what this colors folder is about it's actually related to the theme switcher that i just showed you right so if i can cut if i can pick the right one yes this one the bar is dead but you get the idea right it's basically related to this theme switcher and it has a bunch of the different themes so that's that okay so let's copy this to home slash dot config config 
config kitty let's call this kitty.conf.back.conf.back we've copied it over right haven't moved it but no problem now all we have to do is just do this okay now once that's done next time we open a terminal this is what we see it's a bit uncustomized because there's probably a little bit of stuff missing but that is no problem because we can change it so let's go to dot config kitty kitty.conf and here we have stuff we have to change a couple of things around as you can see here this current theme.conf is not available which is why we're getting the error but no problem let's do this okay so we're just gonna have to change the font family to something like a nerd font like let's use meslo lgs nerd font mono and by the way if you're wondering what this mono syntax or this mono construct whatever you want to call it is about i made a video on it previously called why nerd fonts why you're using nerd fonts wrong or something like that it's titled something along those lines you can go check it out to see what the syntax means but basically you can type this and okay the font is is working so that's great let's increase the size of the font right size it's not here but we can increase it nonetheless so we got the font down we're just gonna have to change the theme change the theme to colors graph box colors custom or actually it's just going to be colors colors.conf conf right changes as you can see it works fantastically awesome you just have to increase increase font size size great and that is pretty much it on how to adapt different dot files to your own needs now let me show you one last setup that you can do this for okay so that you get a better idea of how it works so let's go back to the home directory replace the terminal config config kitty and if you're wondering by the way how i get rid of words immediately if you're on a laptop it's going to be alt backspace right or even if you're on an external keyboard it's going to be alt backspace by default you can actually set up zshrc to make sure that it can be control backspace as well so if i open zshrc to show you dot zshrc here so control backspace is going to be backward kill word and by the way this would set caret caret h yes and that is literally called a caret symbol this caret h thing that is control backspace so if you open a terminal that does not have this right let's say you comment this out and then you source dot zshrc sourcing a file basically in the shell context basically means that you want the changes in the file to reflect in the next zsh session that you open instead of having to log out and log back in for the changes to take place okay so you source zshrc and now if i open a terminal and then i press control backspace yeah it, it doesn't actually show you the control h thing like this caret h but it's basically that that is the command or the escape sequence whatever you want to call this that is being given to the terminal when you press control backspace yes so that is it for the control backspace thing yeah just a second let's source it again okay awesome now let's see if we can find another hyperland one okay this bar hmm let's see this nope let's pick a different one yeah basically it's going to take quite a while for me to actually find a good config like a good as in the one that i like so you know the kind of configs that you like right just go on to r slash unix pawn or go on to github and look for hyperland configs you know where to find the configs and now i have also shown you how you can modify them and make them fit into your own machine that is pretty much it and by the way if you want to know how to make cool theme switches like this one like the one that i just showed you 
ignore the dead bar by the way and the terminal which i will fix trust me just click the first link in the description this has to be the best thing ever i cannot get enough of this i don't think you can either just think about it being able to change your theme based on whatever mood you are currently feeling in to get yourself into a mood or out of one oh it's pretty fantastic and not just that but you also save a lot of time from having to learn this from like 50 different youtube tutorials and wasting your time because trust me you've got better stuff to do so just take word from the expert who's been doing it for three years and just take the plunge do it trust me there's also a guarantee so there's pretty much nothing i have to worry about there's no risk so just go for it just click the first link in the description right now buy the program and i swear to god it will be the best decision you've ever made take care